So here's the reduction formula for cosecant. So in this video, we're going to make use of this reduction formula in order to integrate this. So to integrate this, uh, we, sh we should just concentrate on this bit here. Just concentrate on this bit here. Forget about the two for the time being. So complete the square on this. That will then give us this, and then that will then take us to here. So complete the square on this, so we can put this back into here. So um, so this thing here, so 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 this thing here, will then become this. And then you've got your squared. You've got your squared. So now now we can follow our normal routine. So your eyes should zoom into this bit. Your eyes should zoom into this bit. Create a triangle in such a way that this will always be true. Well, if you make if you make the hypotenuse to be x plus 3, and if you make the adjacent to be square root of 3, then the opposite, then the opposite will have no choice but to be x plus 3 squared minus x squared and then square root. So now um so 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 looking at the triangle, we, we need our we need our dx. So looking at the triangle of tri looking at our triangle, we need to uh, extract the dx. So let's let's look at this. Uh, this here is secant. Secant the angle. Secant the angle equals uh, hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse over adjacent. So times both sides by root three, and then take away three from both sides. That will then give you this. Uh, and then from this, differentiate both sides. So dx equals this thing here. Later on, we can put this into the dx, but uh, but we need to somehow extract this whole thing here with the uh, the squared here. But at the moment we've got we've got this thing here. So notice that this thing here, without the square root, is, is this thing here. So if you look at this, hang on. So if you look at ten ten theta, so ten theta equals opposite over adjacent equals opposite over adjacent. So uh, times both sides by root three. That will then give us this. Remember, we need to obtain this. We need to somehow obtain this. But at the moment, we've got this square root thing here. So what you do is from here, square both sides. That will then give us this. But then we still need this square because at the moment, we've got this. At the moment, we've got this. At the moment, we've got this. We need the square here. So from here, square both sides again. That will then give us this. So now, this is exactly the same as this. So we can put we can put this into here, into this whole thing here, and then our, our dx we can put this into our into our dx here. So this whole thing here will then become this. So tidy this up, tidy this up. Hang on. So um, so tidy this up. This is a constant here, so we can take it out. That will then give us this, and then uh, ten. We'll cancel out with, uh, with this thing here. That will then give you 10 cubed. So that will then give you this. So whenever you have a mixture of secant and tan, uh, try to tie up, break break up, um, break up everything. So so here um, secant is one over cos, and then you've got your divide. That's this divide here, and then tan to the power of three is sine to the power of three over cos to the power of three. So now um, now tidy this up. So remember. This stays the same, uh, and then you times the uh, the reciprocal of, of the second fraction, cos to the power of three theta over sine to the power of three theta, and then uh, this will become squared. It cancels out with this, and then you've got your uh, sine to the power of three. So time. So so whenever you have a mixture of of um, secant and tan, um, break it up into its simplest form. And then uh, and then tidy up, and then that will then give you this. So from here, that will then take you to here, and then hang on, and then um, and then this thing here we can write as this, and then and then so yeah, write this thing as this. So now break this up into two fractions. So it's one over sine to the power of three theta minus sine squared theta over. Uh, sine to the power of three theta. This thing here is. Uh, hang on, let me think. Uh, hang on, let me think. Oh yeah, uh, this thing here is um, is uh, secant, uh, cosecant. R remember, sine 
sine is this thing here. So going the other way is uh, cosecant. Uh, yeah, um, it, it, it would be um, cosecant. Sorry. For, uh, so so this thing here would then be uh, cosecant to the power of three. So uh, so this thing here would be cosecant to the power of three, and then this thing here you can tie it up as um, as one over sine theta, which is just secant cosecant uh, of theta. So if you tidy this up, it will then give you this thing here. Now we need to integrate this. So um, so applying the reduction formula for cosecant. So leave this bit for the time being. Let's just concentrate on this. So applying applying the uh, the reduction formula on this bit only. Remember, Rn is three. Rn is three. So uh, applying the reduction. So so this thing here will stay the same. It will be this thing here. Uh, it will be. It will be. Hang on, let me think. It will be this thing here. Well, we sort out later. Applying applying the reduction formula on this. So n is three. So um, so negative one. Uh, n is three. Three take away one will be two, and then uh, and then three take away two will be one, and then you've got your cot. You've got your cotangent here, and then uh, three take away two. That will be one. This thing here will be one, and then three take away what one would be two, and then you've got your your integral here. You've got your integral here. And then, uh, and then, let me think. And then uh, this bit here stays the same. This bit here stays the same. Okay. So, so applying the reduction formula that would then lead us to uh, applying the reduction of, uh, applying the reduction formula on this would give us this whole thing here. And then this thing here stays the same. Okay. And then, uh, and then now, if you look at this, exactly the same. Uh, uh, sorry. Looking at this thing, half of exactly the same take away the whole of exactly the same. That would then give you. So it's just like it's just like you saying a half of an elephant uh, take away one whole elephant. That would be negative half of an elephant. So uh, exactly the same, exactly the same. So that would then give you this thing here, negative a half of this thing here. So that would then take us to here, and then uh, hang on, and then. And then uh, we've done this many times. We've done this many times. We've done this many times. So by now, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to be able to accept this. When you integrate this, uh, it will then give you this thing here. We've done it many times. So by now, I'm expecting you to, um, to just accept it from here. So when you integrate this, it will then give you this. So looking at this, all we need to do now is integrate this. Well, if you integrate this, it will give you, uh, don't forget you've got a negative here and a negative here. So it becomes a positive. A half, a half, and then this whole thing here, and then this whole thing here, and then you've got your constant. Let's take chuck it out right at the end. So that so secant will be sorry. So your constant will be out here. So that will then take us to here, and then uh, tidy this up. This times this that will then give us this thing here, and then uh, this times this that will then give us this thing here. So this is our answer here. But the the thing is. The answer is all in terms of theta. You've got cosecant, cotangent theta. Uh, you've got theta here, theta here. We don't want the answer in terms of theta. We want it in terms of x. So going back to our original diagram, this was all the way from above. So going back to, uh, to our original diagram, we need to translate this. So um, so cosecant. So this here is. Um, how let me think. This here is uh, sine. So cosecant will be this thing here. So it will be hypotenuse over opposite. It will be hypotenuse over opposite. So this thing here will then become this block here. And then you, uh, you've you got your uh, cotangent. Remember, tan is this. So cotangent would be the other way. So this will be root 3, root 3. So cotangent is adjacent. Which is this thing here over opposite, which is this thing here. So that's that's this bit done. Okay. So now now looking at this, um, this thing here will be this, and then we need to translate this. Um, co uh, cosecant will be this. So that will be hypotenuse over opposite over opposite, and then we need to translate cotangent. 
cotangent would be this, would be um, adjacent over opposite, over opposite. So that, so this whole thing here will then become this thing here. So now it's just a matter of tidying this up. If you tidy this up, hang on. If you um, if you tidy this up, if you uh, if you tidy this up. So look at this. You you've got square root of, uh, of you've got square root times the square root of exactly the same thing. So that would then become um, that would then become well. Think about it. This whole thing here. If you tidy this thing up, it will become this. So think about it. Uh, pause the video and think about it. And then uh, same denominator, same denominator. So you can merge the two fractions. You can merge these two fractions. So merge these two together. That would then give us this. Well, your final answer will be given by this. Okay.